Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Time for your afternoon update brought to you by 45 North. Find them tonight in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel for some great apres as well as dinner. And you can find this much more at WSKITV.com on all your internet devices. Well, for the day on Wednesday, we're looking at some snow showers, some PM snow squalls. Could pick up a couple inches of accumulation. We'll see summit temperatures warming up, 18 to 22, uh, with a noticeable breeze up there from the south-southwest and west-southwest. And base temperatures warming up to 28 to 32. So we'll be very comfortable out there on the way uh, day on Wednesday with possibly some new snow. So get out there and enjoy it. Increasing clouds for the day on Thursday. Uh, temperatures cool right back down though 6 to minus 2 at the summit with a very very light northwest wind and base temperatures 2 to 6 degrees with uh, winds only from the northwest 15 to 25 miles an hour so not too bad out there for Friday see a chance of some light snow uh, 19 will do it for your high 13 for your low could pick up a few inches overnight Friday into Saturday where we'll see cloudy skies with uh, temperatures uh, still Pretty low out there, right around the uh, zero mark, and snow likely for the day on Sunday. So something to get excited about there. Looks like it'll be a big one. 16 will do it for your high on Sunday. Wednesday, January 15th, 144 trails of skiing ride on 10 lifts, getting you those runs. 46 trails on the groomers list tonight, packed powder and machine groomed. Be sure to make your plans for Burnt Mountain Cat Skiing if there is space available. Be sure to call as soon as you can to make plans for the Martin Luther King weekend. Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway, those three lifts move you around the base area. 8.30 at 9 o'clock. The Muscalator gets you up and down the Birch's Slope. If you're just learning to ski or ride, check that out. Double Runner East gets you a little higher on the hill for some nice groomed out uh, easy runs down Boardwalk, Lower Winter's Way, as well as Lower Narrow Gauge. Skyline and Super Quad get going at 8.30. Skyline gets you up to Spillway Crosscut, and that allows you to branch out all across the mountain, and the Super Quad gets you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain as well. King Pine and Wiffle Tree, those are the east side lifts. King Pine higher up on the east side in the King Pine Bowl, and Wiffle Tree a bit lower, more intermediate terrain, great for kids. Timberline, that gets going at 9 a.m., winds and weather permitting. Snowmaking tonight, White Nitro, Hallback around the Bullwinkles area, and they'll have some guns moving around on Tote Road Extension as well. Schedule grooming tonight, they'll be busy as usual. Candy side, boardwalk, the landing and the birches around the base area. Timberline, Tote Road, Lower Cinderhoe, Spurline, King's Landing, Gondola Line, and Central Mountain Trails, King's Land, uh, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Lower Spillway, Sluice, as well as Haywire should all be groomed out and have some great corduroy on them on Wednesday morning. Haul back and ram down, higher up on the east side, and then lower on the east side, two haul wiffle tree slasher, upper pole line, rollway, and Lombard crosscut. They should get windrow as well over on the west side of the mountain, and all the terrain parks will get a uh, nice smooth out as well. Fat bike rentals available at the Chicago Outdoor Center as well as cross-country skis, snowshoes, ice skates. They've got something for everyone there, so be sure to check that out. The fat bike trails across the street off of the narrow gauge pathway are starting to uh, firm up and get better as some tires are on the snow. But just be advised if you are sinking in more than an inch on the uh, tread to please stay off. Also, Friday, January 18th, noon to 5 p.m. at the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel is the Blood Drive, so you can sign up online. Check that out. It's a great cause, so please take advantage. Win free stuff. Grand prize, full day snowmobile rental from Flagstaff Snowmobile Rentals right up in Stratton. It's over a $300 value, so be sure to tune in to win for that and we've also got a bunch of other great prizes to give away as well that'll go on all weekend long so be sure to tune in wskitv.com that's our website you can find this latest local forecast lots of videos of things to do to keep you busy and informed here in the main high peaks region as well as our live quad cam so be sure to check that out and check us out on instagram facebook as well as twitter